Welcome everyone to a very special episode on my channel. Today I'm diving into an exciting project that has been in the making for quite some time. I'm thrilled to take you on a journey through the construction of our brand new backyard pool. From envisioning the design to seeing it all come to life, I'm about to share every detail of this incredible transformation. So grab a snack or your favorite glass of wine and let's dive right on in. Starting out with sharing the pool design, from the very beginning when we purchased this home, I knew I wanted a backyard pool. Some important features for me included water features. We have gorgeous conservation in the backyard and I wanted to complement that with the sound of water. I also wanted a sand shelf so we could put some chairs out for my in-laws to sit in and of course a spa for us to relax at the end of a long work week. So this is the final digital rendering of the design that I created that really met all of those needs and still maximized our beautiful view of the conservation behind the pool. Once the contracts were signed and the permits were in place, it was time to start the construction process, beginning with selecting all of my design options. So this meant what color the pavers were going to be and the pool tiles and the pebble tech. So here is a shot of the colors I chose, which were all based on the color, exterior color of our home, which is an olive green. I thought these colors would complement uh, the green very nicely. So, and they also worked perfectly for our budget. There's so many different options. It just depends on what your budget is. Here I'm looking at the Pebble Tech colors and this determines what color the water is going to be. You can see that Tahoe blue is circled there. I wanted a deep medium blue um, and I actually was going to select a darker color, but every pool company we met with um, talked us out of that because you really want to be able to see the bottom of your pool. And with some of those darker pebble tech colors, that wasn't going to be an option. Our construction process was broken down into four different phases with phase one being pre-strip, layout and dig, um, steel installation, and then an inspection, and then uh, blowing in the gunite or the shell for the pool. So this was the very first step with pre-strip. This was an exciting day for the family to see them come and pull out all of the sod uh, for where the pool was gonna go. Then they came in and did a layout of the pool design. Um, and this is where the bobcat's going to come in and start to dig inside of the layout. And you can already see the design coming together with the spa in the background. And that's where the sun shelf is going to go. And then it was dig day. This was also an exciting day to see a bobcat show up in the backyard and make that big hole for the pool. So much fun to watch. After the dig, the steel frame was installed and then we had to wait for inspection before moving on to blowing in the gunite, which is basically the shell for the pool. And here's a little bit of a closer look at what the steel framing looks like inside. And next they came in and blew in the gunite. They put on these special boots um, and they had these giant hoses. They covered everything up so this is just a little security camera footage but that's what the shell looks like when it's done and you can really see the pool starting to come together here this was another exciting phase to finish you can even see my little guy who's not so little anymore uh taking a walk through to test it out next we started in phase two which was pre-grade tile plumbing and electrical so this is where they run all your plumbing lines, all of your electrical lines. I call this the ugly phase. This was going on around October, which for me is right around the time I start getting ready for Christmas and making my Christmas decorating videos. So kept my blinds closed a lot <laughs> during this phase of the process. So the pavers were laid. This was, uh, like I said, right around the holiday season. And it actually got to be the frustrating part of the project because things were moving along pretty smoothly. You can see I was even decorating the tree and trying not to show outside. Um, but then Hurricane Ian happened and the pool company was only working with one particular 
screen cage builder uh, at the time. And they pulled out of the Tampa Bay area and went down to Naples, Fort Myers, where all of the destruction was to work on um, the properties down there, which meant that our project came to a screeching halt. So after the holidays, we were able to finally finish phase three. Phase three actually started with the, the deck pavers being laid, um, but then it finishes with the screen enclosure and your safety inspection. We um, upgraded our screen enclosure for an infinity screen, which means that there's just less aluminum in the back um, of the pool cage as not to obstruct our view of the conservation. So once they got this part in and we had our inspection, we could finish the project. That finally brought us to phase four, yay! <laughs> Which included um, a deck clean, an interior clean of the pool, and then they, splayed, they sprayed in the plaster or the pebble tech and did a final clean. We had to let it cure for a couple of days. And then after that, it was time to put the water in. Now, apparently there are companies you can hire that will bring a big truck out and just dump all the pool water in. Our pool company stuck our water hoses in there. Um, we put two in and it didn't even take 24 hours for the, the pool to be filled. I think it took about 18 to 19 hours. And here is the finished product, YouTube fam. This is a dream come true. It's truly a backyard oasis now. One of the things that I forgot to mention that we budgeted for was having a heated pool so that we can use it year round. Before I forget, here's a quicker look at what some of the um, design features ended up looking like in the sun. This is the tile that I picked out with the bullnose pavers. And I ended up changing the color of my pavers. I originally picked out a gray, but thankfully I brought them home and looked at them in the sun and went with a, a warmer tone um, against the pool tiles. It just showed better and definitely showed better against the olive color of my home. Kind of hard to capture in the camera, but there's actually a little sparkle in this tile when the sun hits it just right. Just a beautiful display. Um, that I've really been enjoying so much. But the most important thing that I wanted to drive home is to definitely bring home your samples and look at them in your yard. Give yourself some time. Don't let your salesperson rush you into making a decision because it could be a very costly mistake if you don't think it through. As many of you know, fall is my favorite season, but this is the first time in my adult life that I can say, I'm sorry to see summer go, but it's okay because we'll, we'll be out here all the time. I'm going to be sharing all sorts of content with you. Um, the first thing I'm going to share, I was playing around with some furniture here and all of my furniture hadn't arrived yet, but I'm going to show you how I styled the backyard um, in one of the first videos of my fall series. So definitely stay tuned for that. And thanks for your patience. This was a really long project. I know a lot of you were waiting to see the end result, so I appreciate you for your patience. I hope this video was helpful. If you're either looking for some design inspiration on creating your own backyard oasis, or if you just wanted to know what the process was like, if you got anything out of this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time, love and peace.